There are also times in which you may be having discussions that aren't necessarily related to a team or channel or a particular subject. It could be, hey, uh, guys, look, where are we going for lunch? Or what did you think about that baseball game last night, right? So while we have the collaboration space here, we also have the chat space, which is what allows you to do um, kind of those in private conversations that you can have one on one or with multiple people. This is actually the ability in which you can have uh, more of that typical uh, instant messaging conversation. You can still bring in uh, files and, and, and other notes into those conversations. What's, what's different about this is that you don't have the, the kind of different threads or different topics. This is kind of a, you know, hey, you send me a message, I send you a message back. You don't have the reply versus start a new conversation uh, because this is uh, by default that in private. Um, but you do have the ability of sharing files in here in which you get to see the files that have been shared in that conversation. Um, but you also get other rich information about the user, such as I can click on organization and I can see what Quint's organization is. This is very useful if Quint happened to be out of town and I wanted to find out, hey, I need to ask his manager about something, or I need to find out who his peers are. The other cool thing here is that I have activity where I can go and I can see what Quint's activity has been in uh, channels and private conversations in which we're both a member of. But if I knew that that uh, Quinn had posted something at one point and I wanted to go and find that, I can actually go and see his recent activity. You can go and you can add someone to a conversation. Let's say you're talking about something and you want to bring someone in. You can click on add people, type in their name. I actually have the ability in which I can say, do I want to include the chat history? Um, so don't include it. Uh, include it just for the past day or include all chat history if I wanted to bring someone with context of what we were discussing. Um, the other thing that you can do is that you can name chats, right? If there are specific subjects that are going on. So instead of this being the Quint and Rob chat, you could actually see the conversation we had yesterday about our super important Jimmy John's threat. The advantage of doing that is that let's say I'm someplace else in Teams, and I knew that we had that conversation someplace, but I didn't remember where it was. I could actually go up here and type into the search bar, start typing super, oh wait, super important Jimmy John's thread. It will find that thread and take me straight to it. 